So, you like fried chicken? Yeah. I like fried chicken. You like macaroni and cheese? Yeah. You like, uh, well, basically, you're gonna love everything inside Zinder's. We're here at Zinder's Chicken. I've been eating here my whole life. I know I've been keep telling you this, and I've been doing this stuff my whole life, but if you come to Frankenmuth and you don't do Zinder's, you're doing Frankenmuth absolutely wrong. I mean, what's wrong with you? This is Zinder's. This is why you come to Frankenmuth. Yes, there's Bronner's, there's all this other awesome stuff, but this is the staple. And it's delicious, and I can't wait. You wanna go, what are you doing? Nothing. Well, let's go jump some chicken into our mouths. Let's go. cutting in line, but um, not at Zinder's. No, I want that chicken in here as fast as it'll go. So, sorry. <laughs> they have an impressive menu. There's lots of stuff to try, but I don't need this thing when I come to Cinder's. A lot of times I go around the country, I go to these restaurants, and I'm like, hey, what is your best recommendation? Because I don't know. Here, I know. It's Cinder's. It's fried chickens, all the side dishes, all the good stuff. I can't wait. Cheer. Sniffle. Give me that coloring book. Hello. Uh, Angie. Angie. My name is Angie and I'll be taking care of you today. You look today. so cute. Well, thank you very much. Can I dress like you too? And... I'm sure we have them available in our gift shop for you. <laughs> the, the guys' uniforms are boring. These are really awesome. I... But it's the bonnet that makes it complete. <laughs> I think I should dress like that and wait on tables. How, how are you doing? Jesse's under is changing. <laughs> I, I, you know what, I, your menus are awesome, but I don't need them. Okay, you already know what you like? Yes. What are we doing for you today? You, the you family know, style you know chicken what dinner? I, yes. John, yes. Your last name is on the building out there. That's right. <laughs> so, are you the you're the main chef here, correct? I'm the executive chef here. I always say, if you can eat it or drink it, at some point I have my fingers in there, and sometimes literally, but always with a glove. Well, you've got magical fingers because I've been eating here for four decades, and I can't get enough of it. It's a huge honor for me to be filming here, by the way, well, and to meet you. Much. I'm so excited thank to meet you. Very much. How long have you been here? How long has I've been executive chef here since, believe it or not, 1972. 1972. I'm only the third uh, food and beverage person overall since the history of the country. Really? Yes. I, my grandmother, I, and then my <laughs> uncle, and then me. I, what I really want to get is the secret behind the chicken. I want the recipe. I want the... <laughs> I figured I'd try my luck. Why not, you know? Well, it's much more of a process than it is a recipe. How crazy is it for you to see how this place has grown? You have a water park. You have a hotel. You have this. It's yeah, huge and, now. And I've been around long enough uh, that I've seen it all. I remember when this room was here. Uh, I remember a lot of stuff that a lot of people just take for granted uh, that's been added over the years. And I think it's easier to uh, start out as a kid in the family coming up. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I bring in a cook or a chef, a lot of times it's like deer in the headlights. They hit this place and they go, oh my goodness, look at that. Uh, uh, and uh, I even had one chef who said, Chef, 
working for Zenders is like dog years. <laughs> and I said, dog years? And I said, what do you mean? Working for you for one year is like working seven years in any other place. Uh, <laughs> the process is crazy in the kitchen. It's right. this constant motion, and, but everybody Absolutely. knows what they're doing and they do it perfectly. It's wonderful. Well, we hope that they do it perfectly. They're seemingly doing perfectly. So tell me about your grandmother. Is she the one that started this or is it who started yeah, this? Yeah, uh, it was uh, my grandmother and grandfather. Um, and uh, it was 1928. Wow. Now, my grandfather, they had a small farm, and he also worked as in Saginaw as deputy registrar of floor base uh, in the court. Now, uh, my grandmother figured Fisher's Restaurant was across the street. Okay. Where Bavarian Inn is now. And, uh, my grandmother and grandfather thought if we could just get the weekend overflow because they seemed to be quite busy over there. So they started uh, on Mother's Day 1928, they opened a restaurant. Um, you know, kind of stumbled along through the... The year before the Great Depression started was really not the best time to open a, a business. Yeah, especially, you know. especially a bar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, so anyway, and, uh, it just grew and grew, and after World War II, um, people coming back were looking for a place to, to go and visit. Now, Frankenmuth, with its Bavarian heritage, we're true Bavarians because uh, those folks came, my ancestors came over in the 1840s and 1850s. Mm -hmm. Germany was not unified until the 1870s. So the people from Frankenmuth actually came from the Kingdom of Bavaria. Uh, and uh, that's how the family uh, got into business. And it's kind of like the scene in The Godfather where Michael Corleone says, I keep trying to get out and they keep dragging me back in. You know, you're so not, you're uh, not going anywhere to anytime soon. So. <laughs> I, have a, I have a certain level of job uh, stability here. No, I think so. Your name's on the door. You know, it's a, <laughs> how much does it mean to you to see families like mine? I'm bringing this punk to experience the place, and hopefully someday that, he'll bring his kids. I'm sure you see a lot of that. That's what we're all about. That's why we have the water park with splash Bowl. We're all about them. Sweet. I could eat like 10 bowls of this soup alone. Oh, isn't that oh delicious? Gosh. We have our chicken here. Oh, oh there it is. A nice warm it's dinner really plate. The chicken. Just going to take this right off the way here. Here's some things for you. Are we enjoying everything so far? You know we're enjoying everything. Wonderful. So far. You know it. And right over here. And when you do really good with the chicken, then you get the ice cream at the end. Yay, I get ice cream if I do good at the chicken. I think I'm going to do pretty good at the chicken. So We have mashed potatoes oh, and dressing are. there for you. Nice. I love that. Get you, get, I'll get you in a minute. Sneaking right <laughs> over here for you. He loves the mashed potatoes. Kabloom. Buttered noodles with the cracker crumb topping. That's your favorite. And our right blue Hubbard squash, which is only in season at this time. Oh, I'm so lucky that we're here. And then I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna take it, I'm just moving it for a moment and with nice hot gravy there for you. You like buttered noodles? And you know with this dinner, if there's anything you need, like or want, don't hesitate. Just let me it know. It just keeps coming and keeps coming. I would it's... gladly get any sort of piece of chicken, anything you may need, just let me know. I'm gonna hug you by the end of this. Perfect. Thank just let you. you know, we're both gonna hug you. You by the end of this. I'll be right back and refill your drinks for you here. May you enjoy. Oh, we're gonna enjoy, yes. Thank you. So excited. So excited. Ow! Hot gravy on a finger. My presentation skills are not fantastic right now because I'm starving and I just don't care at this moment. This is one of my favorite meals anywhere I've ever been my entire life here at Zinder's in Frankenmuth, Michigan. I am beyond excited to put this you know where it's going it's deep fried yes but it's not greasy 
and it's not overbearingly breaded or anything like that. This is the perfect fried chicken. And if you want it, I think by now you know where to go. Zinders. Ah. Hot. But so good. John, cheers, sir. Cheers to you. Bon appetit. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. What do they say in German? I forgot already. I used to know this. I didn't know. Oh, it's so, so not salute or salute. No, it's uh... <laughs> I know what it is. Right, hold on. I've done this. Oh. Let's go on our phone and Google it. We should, absolutely. <laughs> we'll do that afterwards. <laughs> You're the uh, general manager here, right? I'm the vice president of sales and marketing. Oh, I short-sighted you, didn't That's I? Okay. No, I'm no, sorry no, not that. at all. <laughs> How long have you worked here, and is this a place that you came when you were a kid? And what? Well, actually, I've been here for 25 years. Wow. My family actually owns it. And you're only 27 years old. Uh, right? Not quite, but my <laughs> wife obviously grew up in the business. My father-in-law's parents started the business. You met John Zender, our food and beverage yeah. director. That's actually my wife's cousin. Oh, wow. And it's all family. We're very excited because our fourth generation, my son is our golf director. Uh, my niece is the food and beverage director. So what, what I need... There's a single person around my age in your family, so I can get involved here somehow, okay? Because I really want a piece, I want a piece of it. I just want free chicken. That's all I want. Well, yeah, you know, fill out an application because all our employees get a chance to eat every day for free. Oh, that's they awesome. They always have access to the family style chicken dinner. So you don't have to be an ownership or just work here. I can just wash some dishes. You can wash some dishes. You can uh, mop some floors. You can give people, shake some hands and the chicken to be available to I'd be honored to mop your clothes. <laughs> what draws people to Zinder's? Besides the chicken, I mean, there's a certain magic here, an atmosphere here, that I get excited every time I come. Well, Brandon, I, I, I think our philosophy is, it's, it's, you know, yes, we have quality food. We think we have a quality product, quality ambiance, but really what we talk about, to, and we have over 900 employees within the company. 900 employees? Yes. If you take the restaurant, our golf division, our retail division, and our hotel and water park division. And really, we just say four simple words. Every guest leaves satisfied. So our focus, strategically, is all about service. If we can provide exceptional customs, customer service, we'll stay in business for a very long time. Well, I think personally, on my behalf, I think you have, because I've been in this place with my grandmother. I've been in this place with my mom. Now I'm here with my son. So, I mean, we're living proof You're of living what Ziggers is all about. Happens. Exactly. Angie basically just gave us another home meal to take home with us because I gotta go see the mom pretty we soon. We can't have mom missing out, especially yeah. at this time of the year. Especially with the Hubbard squash and the butter noodles. I just had to put the cracker crumbs right on the top so then she could mix them up there. I promised you this. Oh yes, Thank that's you. right. You're I the best. do out my hug. <laughs> I do out my hug. That is great. I'm really happy that you enjoyed everything. You know it. You but you're not done yet because you get ice cream. Ice cream? Yeah. I'll be right back to give you your options here. There's going to be a little plastic monkey or animal on our ice cream and I can't wait. You don't get ice cream. No, I get the ice cream. No, I get the ice cream. You don't get that. Stop it. Stop it right now. No, no, my ice cream. No, stop making the smacking noises. No, stop it. Orange sherbet. Ice cream for me. And with a giraffe here for you. Ice cream for me. What are you, what are you doing? I got a camel. What'd you get? Let me see your giraffe. And with this bite of ice cream, we're leaving this portion of Zinder's and going to a new thing that Zinder's has. Yeah. And it has nothing to do with food again, but this kid wants to go there. It's an indoor water park. I can't say no. Don't give me the sad puppy dog eyes. And I had so many. I dropped my camel. I had so many of these things when I was a kid. All the different animals. He got a giraffe. I got a camel. But the camel is way cooler than a giraffe, isn't it?